Hi everyone, uh, let us now understand the iterative post order traversal. So the post order traversal for the given binary tree is 4, 5, 2, 3 and 1. So we've achieved that by first visiting the left node, then the right node and then the root for all the nodes recursively. So how to achieve it iteratively we have to follow these conditions in order to achieve that so let us now visually find out how these statements will help us achieve that post order traversal iteratively we have to first initialize two things first one is we have to initialize current to the root and we have to initialize an empty stack s so now we'll follow these conditions until the current is null or the length or the stack the length of the stack is empty so now it's we can see that the current is pointing to root and current is not none so it will fall under the first condition so if the current is not none will append the current to the stack which is one and will move current to currents left now again the length of the stack is greater than zero so the loop continues so we'll see we'll, we can see that the current is still not none so we'll append current to the stack and we'll move current to currents left so we'll append 2 to the stack we'll move current to currents left so it will point to 4 now so again the loop continues as the length of the stack is greater than 0 and current is not none so it'll get appended to the stack and we'll move current to the left so we'll move First, we'll append uh, current to the stack, which is 4, and then we'll, we'll move current to current's left. So now, as we can see that when the loop continues, as still the length of the stack is greater than 0, the current, it will not fall under the first condition as current is pointing to none. So now it will fall under the second condition, where this condition will try to look at the top of the stack the right element of the top of the stack which here it is temp so peak s is dot right will give us none because the peak s here it's 4 and 4's right which we can see is none so temp here will be none so if temp is pointing to none which means we are at the leaf node so what we'll do here is we'll pop 4 from the top of the stack and we'll print 4 now again we have to take care of one thing which is whether 4 is the right element the right node of 2 or not so we have to use this while condition to see whether the element that we have popped out is the right element of 2 or not so as 2's right is not equal to 4 will not pop 2 out of the stack because we still have the right side of the 2 to explore so now the loop continues as the length of the stack is still greater than 0 but current uh, previously the current is still none so it will fall in the second condition again and here we'll explore the right side of the 2 so the right of the 2 here will is 5 So as you can see the temp 
will store five which is not none so it will fall in this uh, fall under the else condition so the current now will be five so the loop continues as current is not none and the length of the stack is still greater than zero, greater than zero. so now it will fall under uh, fall under the first condition the current is not none so we'll append 5 to the stack and we'll move current to current left so the loop continues again and it will fall under the second condition as current is pointing to none so here temp will be none and as temp is none we have to pop the top of the element of the stack because it's the root node or sorry the leaf node and we'll print that node so we'll pop out the top of the stack which is 5 and we'll print it as well so again we'll see whether the 5 has the right side to explore or not here so we'll see as temp is point temp's value is 5 and peaks s is right which is 2's right is 5 that means it will fall under this condition as temp as the right side of 2 is equal to temp's value so we'll pop 2 and we'll print 2 as well so this time we'll pop 2 and we'll print 2 as well now the loop continues as current is pointing to none but still the length of the stack is greater than 0 so now it will fall under the second condition the temp will be 3 as the top of the stack's right is 3 so temp will get value 3 and the temp is not none so it will fall under this else condition and current will get 3 so now the loop continues as current is not none we'll append current to the stack and we'll move current to left so we'll append 3 and we'll move current to left so as now current is pointing to none but the length of the stack is still greater than, greater than 0 the loop continues so here it will fall under the second condition as current is none so here we can find out that 3 the the peaks s which is 3 its right is none so it's it's a leaf node so we'll pop 3 and we'll print 3 as well so again we can now we have to look at this while condition the temp is 3 this time and peaks is s of right is also 3 so it will follow this condition so again and we'll pop the top of the element of the stack and we'll print it so we'll print 1 we'll pop 1 sorry and now we'll print 1 so now the loop will not continue as current is pointing to none and length of the stack is equal to 0 that we can find out from here so hence the loop will stop and will be able to print the post order traversal of the given graph if you look at the code we have initialized two things first we have initialized current to root and then we have taken one empty stack s and these are the two conditions we have written inside while loop which we have already discussed as above 
so by following these two conditions we'll get our post solid traversal iteratively thank you